And another unfortunate turn of events, this damn air conditioner is starting to cause problems. This, of course, is the hot point uh, quiet air. I don't know if you can hear the problem. But I certainly can. There's water sloshing around in there. You see, I left for three days um, about a week ago. I left last Saturday. It is currently the following Saturday. I came back Tuesday. I believe that's three days. Anyway, um, let's see. I can count. I can count. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, so I left three days. And when I left, this unit was doing fine. When I come back, it's not. So I have this bucket here. I know you can't see shit. I have this bucket here collecting the water that comes out of this unit. And there's a drain hole. Oh, my camera's fogged. Hold on. Here we go. There's a drain hole. Now, it's actually dripping some. But there's a drain hole right there. So that's where it normally drains from into said bucket. But I noticed it wasn't doing what it was supposed to. It was dri the, the whole bottom of the unit, and you can't see it because it's fogged again. But the whole bottom of the unit was wet, like it currently is. And instead of dripping, it was dripping down the wall. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's dripping down the wall. It's also dripping back here some, right there. And it's dripping down the wall. You can see this whole wall is wet. So like, that's not what it's supposed to do. So I noticed that first. It was doing fine in here at the time, so I didn't pay it any attention. Now, the day before yesterday is when I started noticing something was wrong. Because I heard this sloshing sound, but it was much weaker. Now, yesterday is when it got to sounding like this. Very apparent. And I said, okay, maybe I should actually pay some attention to this instead of just continuing to blissfully ignore it. So I paid it some attention. First thing I noticed is that right here, you can see evidence that this unit has been dripping. It's got like shit running down it. So this has been dripping, I don't know. It's not currently wet. But it looks like it's been doing that for a while, so I don't I don't know. I guess I just don't pay close enough attention. So we'll go ahead and remove the front cover. If I could get the front cover to just sit somewhere, and I'll show you my findings. I'm sure you already know what the problem is. Yes, the filter needs to be cleaned. Yeah. Pan under the evaporator is flooded. There's water in there. You can see it right there. It's not draining. Or, I should say, it's not draining. Ooh, it even spit out some water there. Look at that. If I put it on high fan, you can really hear it. I should say it's not draining as it's supposed to, because we can see that there is still water going outside. It's actually dripping. I don't know if you can see that. I've got this foam here, and that's wet. So it's actually dripping right there and just running down the wall. Which is not what we want. So I get to move all this shit and pull it out and see what's going on. I suspect that we have some dirt or something clogging up the passage between the inside and the outside so the water's not running where it's supposed to. I did clean this unit before the end of, or before the beginning of this season. Uh, I don't clean this every year like you're supposed to but I did before the end, beginning of this season so I'm not entirely sure why it would be having this issue. It's never had this issue before this particular unit in my possession so we will see. Okay, so I've successfully moved everything. We've got a pile of shit all over the place now. Amazing how much how much shit comes out of that small area. We can see in here we've got some grass which is has turned moldy. That's good. Also got a decent amount of mold going on in there, so that's good. 
Um, we'll just put that over there. So, uh, yeah, mold, that's, that's great. I don't really know how to get down into there. I'm not seeing any mold on the back or anything like that. Just some in the blower wheel. Here's the information tag. You can actually see it now. Focus, damn it. There you go. 7,600 BTU. Focus! Model KQ708SQ2. Manufactured in uh, April of 84. 21.75 ounces of R22. If you're unfamiliar with these units, this is what it looks like. General Electric, back in the uh, 70s and 80s, really made some very interesting, we'll say that, air conditioner designs, and this is certainly one of them. Very well made, though. Um, you can see that this unit has two capacitors. It's not a dual section, it's got individual capacitors for the things. I did replace this thermostat with a probed thermostat. I don't like those probeless ones. Um, of course, this uses a spine fin evaporator and condenser, and these use aluminum tubing, which, if you can see that, is held together with some sort of epoxy. Um, I'm not particularly a big, big fan of the holding the refrigerant lines together with epoxy idea but hey it's 40 years old and it still works it's still holding the charge just fine these things were did pretty good it's got this vent thing useless friggin vent feature um go ahead and turn it around so we can see the back of course these units draw air in through this way and then blow it out the top and sides instead of the other way around. Um, I'm going to try to remove some of this debris, but this spine fin tubing is very easy to screw up, so I'm not going to bother too much. I think we're going to have to we're going to have to take this fan off. A lot of these designs I'm not a huge fan of, these weird General Electric units. This one's actually a pretty decent design um, because it's got the plastic pan and there's nothing constantly bathing in water that's metal. You can see the compressor's up on, I don't want to say stilts, but it's up on like plastic indentions. But, you know, these... That's just how these are from the factory. I mean, sure. Still made a hell of a lot better than the new ones. And honestly, the plastic frame isn't too bad. There's metal on the inside. We'll go ahead and uh, I gotta take this fan out and then take this back piece off. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these weird General Electric designs for the most part. Uh, this one's actually a really good design as far as longevity goes. These don't uh, don't really get rotted out. The Super Thrust, the oh, what's that stupid thing called? The Fashion Air, or no, the Fashionette. I don't know. Fashion Air is probably the same way. And the Thinet. I have a Thinet. All have similar designs, but they use metal frames that just rust away to nothing. Really is a pain. So. You know, sure. Uh, this one's actually a pretty good design, but it's still a pain in the ass to service. And I just cleaned this thing, and you can see how much crap is in there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and pull this back piece off and this fan off, because they have to both come off. And we'll see if we can see what's clogging it. Okay. So... There's a large amount of schmoo um, in the bottom of that. I don't know. I mean, it's just dirt mixed with water and 
like shit, but it's gross. I've got a bit that I'm going to use um, to fix the drain hole. Because uh, right here is where I put it. And I guess it should really be back here. Because it does lean back a bit. That's the lowest point right there. Originally, of course, there's one here. And it only allowed that much to sit in there. But we don't allow that. Anyway, I'm going to get a... Well, get a... It's right here. Use this shop back. I'm going to suck up some of this crap and that shit and these dead bees. One decapitated, one just dead. I don't know how the hell those got in there. Uh, seriously, like two or three months ago. Well, let's see. It's July. It's been more than two or three months. I, I just cleaned this not too long ago. Okay, so I still got to find the passage that goes from the inside to the outside, but I did get some of this off. Uh, you saw I didn't really touch this stuff with that. This is spine fin. Look at this. That's how easy it is to bend this shit down. And once it bends down, you don't fix it. Fun note about this compressor. It actually has an oil cooler on it. Modern rotaries don't give you that. These old GE rotaries are probably some of the best rotary compressors you can find. There's more of that wonderful epoxied fittings, but, you know, like I said, I don't like it, but it's lasted this long. We do have one drain hole here. I don't know if that's our main one. There might be another one somewhere else as well on this side, so I'm going to look. But we definitely have a passage here. I'm going to move this vacuum out of the way first, though. Okay, so I believe we've got this issue resolved after making a huge mess, of course. The um, passage is right here. And I took the shop vac and I took this... Uh, oh, where the hell did it go this time? Where did it go? No, that ain't it. I have a pokey stabby tool. I don't know where I put it, but I used it. I, I, I still I still don't know what the hell its intended purpose is. It's like a screwdriver with a here it is, it's a pokey stabby tool. Just sharp. Anyway, I don't know what this thing's intended purpose is, but I find myself using it all the time to pull shit out of stuff like that and like this. But anyway, I ended up uh, clearing that. There was a bunch more of that moldy-ass grass. Uh, the guy I bought this unit from, oh hell, probably three years ago, I think it was. He had this in the middle of a field. So, yeah. Don't store your air conditioner in the middle of a field, guys. That's what happens. But anyway, I got that out of there. I came around here, and I used this drill, which I should probably move because it's sitting in the water. And I use this thing, whatever you call this bit. I put a bigger hole here. I had put one here, but it's too small. It got plugged up. But also, you can see that even this tiny amount of water in there right now is running out and dripping onto my nice uh, carpet. Um, this is the lowest point in the pan. This is higher, you can see. So this is the lowest point in the pan. So everything should drip right out of here. I'm going to suck this shit out of here with that vacuum. 
Uh, I would put it over here. I did confirm. I lifted this coil. There is no other passage through there. This is the only one. I would put it right here, but these lines are here, and I don't want to try to bend them, especially with this, like I said, epoxy holding these lines together. Once again, it's done its job well. I just still am nervous about it, and I'm not going to be bending these lines to try to do that. So I put it over here. It's still the lowest point in the pan. It's just going to have to run this way, but that's fine. So hopefully that won't get clogged. And if it does, you know, I can take a hose and spray it up through here or something. It's big enough so that that won't be an issue. That is, let's see, I believe it says right on here. That is an inch and three-eighths. Uh, this is my... Whoa! Whoa! That's the hot wire. It's completely split in two with like one or two. Okay, alright. Well, that's an OSHA approved... You, you know, that's a great drill to use, really. I've got a rag right here. I was using it to clean up this window. I can sort of wipe this shit out of here somewhat. I'm not too concerned about that. But, anyway, uh, to show now, I've got a little bit of water here. And I'll pour it into the evaporator. You'll see the water come out here like it's supposed to. There it goes, and there it goes onto my nice carpet. So that is working as it's supposed to, which is excellent. Stop, stop, stop that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together now. I should probably take it outside and clean it again since I apparently it's gotten dirty in a few months, but we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and pretend we didn't see any of this. Okay, so I've got the air of the conditioner back installed here. It's been running for about 10 minutes now. Of course it's working. Um, I don't know if it's going to be producing any condensate enough to be dripping yet but we will go see if we can see anything it would be cool if we could just to confirm that it is indeed draining as it's supposed to but I have no doubt in my mind that it is because there's no reason for that to have plugged back up. I got all the stuff out of it. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Damn it. Here's the water dripping into the bucket. Here it is. That's how it's supposed to be right there not dripping down the side of the house. So, we fixed the air conditioner. Well, didn't really fix it. That was just more like preventative maintenance. Well, it wasn't quite preventative because it had already begun having a problem, but the problem hadn't gotten terrible yet. Um, most people wait until the problem gets terrible and then they throw the air conditioner out. Oh, it's leaking. I'll throw it out. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.